Hello Internet and welcome to a brand new topic in information theory and coding. We'll talk about cyclic codes for non-systematic generator today. Please understand cyclic codes are also uh, code words which are generated by the transmitter for any message. From the previous discussion of linear block codes, if you see the previous video on linear block codes, I discussed that the code word uh, is composed of message plus parity. Now why is parity important? Because it helps in detection and correction of error. So it's important when you send message, you send it along with the parity. Now there are two kinds of cyclic codes that can be generated. One are systematic and the other one are non-systematic. The systematic cyclic codes are those where messages and parity are uh, separated. Uh, for example, message would would compose of the first three bits and the parity would compose of the next three bits in a six-bit code word. Uh, they do not, um, you know, form a zigzag pattern, or the parity would not be uh, lying within or between the bits of the messages. So if you look at the definition of a non-systematic cyclic code that would mean that for a message such as 1101 will have certain parity bits put up in between uh, the code word. So in this video we'll talk about cyclic codes for non-systematic generator. Now whenever cyclic codes are generated uh, we have something called a generator polynomial so a typical question for cyclic codes would look something like this uh, for a 7 comma 4 <coughs> message stream the generator polynomial is given by x cube plus x plus 1 so we need to find code words for all messages now these code words are of course cyclic codes We already know that in 7 comma 4 this is uh, n comma k where n is the total number of code length bits and k represents the bits of message so in this particular case we have a message of four bits which are going to be m0 m1 m2 and m3 which are represented by k of course and parity which is given by n minus k will be b let's say it will be of 3 bits so a code word 7 comma 4 will have 4 bits of message and 3 bits of parity would be put into it so a 4 bit message m0 m1 m2 and m3 uh, could have 16 possible combinations from all zeros to all ones and for, for each of these we'll need to find out the parity bits or directly the code word which is going to be non-systematic in nature 
Now let's start off with the steps. Please understand that each message is also represented using a polynomial. And once you are able to uh, write down the message polynomial then it becomes a whole lot easier to find the code word because the final code word becomes message polynomial into the generator polynomial so this is the uh, thing that we would want to achieve now how do you find the message polynomial it's pretty easy anything uh, which is present would would be multiplied with uh, its respective power of x for example uh, over here it is x to the power 0 it is x to the power 1 x to the power 2 and x to the power 3 so if you find the bit to be 1 you'll multiply it with the power of uh, x to the power 3 here and if the bit is 0 you multiply it with x to the power 2 thereby making the uh, thing go away or making it zero in the polynomial for example m0 can be found out by simply multiplying all the powers of x with zero So this goes away <clears throat> and next we find out m1x which will be 1 multiplied by x to the power 0 and just everything vanishes away because of zeros here so this becomes a 1 and m2x will become x 1 multiplied by x to the power 1 and rest everything will be 0 so it will be x so it's pretty easy to find out the uh, message polynomials I'll write down the message polynomials here for all the possible messages so this is going to be 0 so message polynomial will be 0 and then 1 and then of course it will be x for 0 0 1 1 it will be x plus 1 then for 4 it will be x square for 5 it will be x square plus 1 for 6 it will be x square plus x for 7 it will be x square plus x plus 1 for 8 x cube 9 will be x cube plus 1 10 will be x cube plus x 11 will be x cube plus x plus 1 12 will be x cube plus x square 13 will be 
x cube plus x square plus 1 14 is x cube plus x square plus x and 15 will be x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 so when you have a message of 4 bits you'll need to find out the message polynomial for all the 16 combinations that it can form once you find out the message polynomial you have the generator polynomial with you then everything becomes simple the code word becomes multiplication of these message polynomials with the generator polynomial so for example if i was to find out the generator poly uh, i'm sorry the code word for uh, the first code which is 0000, zero, zero, zero i'll multiply this so i can see i can say code 0 is m0x into g of x so m0 is 0 and g of x becomes uh, x cube plus x plus 1 so it becomes 0 the entire code word becomes 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 7 times c1 becomes m1 x into g of x so 1 multiplied by generator polynomial so which becomes x cube plus x plus 1 now this clearly states that uh, we need to specify the powers up to x6 so 6 is missing 5 is missing 4 is missing 3 is present 2 is missing 1 is present and 0 is present so this becomes the final code word because the the uh, code word will be will be a 7 bit code word and the seventh bit will be a representative of x raised to the power 6 similarly c2 becomes x into x cube plus x plus 1 so this becomes x raised to the power 4 plus x square plus x so it becomes 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 and c3 becomes x plus 1 into x cube plus x plus 1 now when we have powers of similar terms in the equation we need to uh, use xor operation i'll show you with an example here so it will become x is to the power 4 plus x square plus x plus x cube plus x plus 1 so this x and this x they'll be x odd and they'll vanish away so I'm left with x4 plus x square and I've got x cube also and 1 also uh, so similar terms will vanish away two similar terms will vanish away if you have four they'll also vanish away if you have three then one will be left so simple xor operation will take place so the code word becomes six is absent five is absent four is present three is present two is present one is absent and zero is present one is by the way a representative of the power zero and going forward c4 can be calculated as x square which is the message polynomial multiplied by x cube plus x plus 1 so this becomes x5 plus x cube plus x square so no repetitive terms so we have 
6 is missing, 5 is there, 4 is missing, 3 is there, 2 is there, 1 is missing and 0 is also missing. So now if we look closely, uh, the code word for the first mes message is 0000000. 000 000 000 000 000 000. We have 4 zeros but we are not sure what the parity bits are. So parity bits are uh, adjusted within the code words. They are somewhere lying within the code words. And the next is 0001. So for this 0001, these could be the parity bits. The next is 00 random thing, for example, C15. It will become x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 multiplied by the generator polynomial which is x cube plus x plus 1 so I get x6 plus x4 plus x cube then x5 plus x3 plus x square plus x4 plus x square plus x plus x cube plus x plus 1 now let's see if we have common terms uh, 6 is just 1 x4 and x4 they'll vanish away these two x cubes will vanish away but we have this one left x5 is just 1 and x square they'll vanish away x will vanish away and one will be left alone so what I'm left with is x6 plus x5 plus x3 plus 1 so the final code word becomes 6 is present 5 is present 4 is absent 3 is present 2 is absent 1 is absent and 0 is present so this becomes the now here in this specific co code word um, we have a 1111 message and it is sandwiched between three parity bits these are the parity bits so that's how it's a non-systematic generator that has parity bits sandwiched between the code words so i hope this tutorial was of help if you liked the content of this video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.